Why do boomerangs come back? If you believe your comics and Mad Max, then the whole point of a boomerang is that it flies through the air, knocks out your enemy or your supper, and then flies back to you, saving you the bother of having to go and fetch it. In reality, the coming back boomerang has never actually been accurate enough for this. At best, it's for scaring birds so that they fly into nets. For actually braining his dinner, ancient mankind had throwing sticks and clubs and a load of other things that didn't come back at all. The boomerang is generally associated with the Aborigines of Australia, but in fact other ancient boomerangs have been found as far apart as the Carpathian Mountains and the tombs of ancient Egypt. So how does the coming back boomerang work? Well, the answer involves both gyroscopic and aerodynamic forces, and if it helps make all of this a bit more palatable to you, the same is also true of helicopters. The two arms of the boomerang, usually at about 60 to 80 degrees to each other, are like wings. Actually, the whole thing is more like a two-bladed aeroplane propeller with a bit of a kink in it. The leading edges of the wings are on opposite sides. To make it work, you have to throw it at a fairly specific angle, which we're going to come on to in a minute. But just as importantly, you have to throw it with some initial spin so that the two blades cut into the air, like the propeller. And now, the clever bit. The spinning boomerang is acting like a gyroscope, which, you will remember from our extensive discussion of bicycle physics, means that it will tilt at 90 degrees to the plane of the direction in which it's going. So that sends it on a big, curving flight to arrive eventually back at your feet to rapturous applause. This is why the angle of boomerang release is so important. If you threw it flat like a frisbee, it would just climb up into the sky until it effectively stalled like a badly flown stunt plane and then just drop to earth. The launch angle should be between 20 and 45 degrees to the right of vertical. That way, the vertical component of the boomerang's lift will be balanced by its weight. Boomerangs can actually fly quite long distances and stay aloft for quite a long time. The world boomerang distance record is 427 metres, and the time aloft record is over six minutes.